Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Sea of Solitude with me, Doris BLT. Oh boy. Kind of wondering uh, exactly what's going to be happening here. Do you trust me now? Of course. The experience with Jack was painful, but it was important. You needed to learn. It almost is frightening. I'm all alone now. Are you? Do you feel lonely? I don't know how to feel anymore. Hmm. What's this? Can we do is there a shoeable? No. Hey, you are not alone. You will never be if if what? What do you mean? Hey, be patient, please. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. See that glue blow, glue, that blue glow in the distance. Things are getting a little fuzzy. We are almost there. Oh boy. Oh, Jesus. What is this? Uh, get up, please. Thank you. Okay, I saw the lamp and was like, what? What was that? Did something just fall off? Or am I crazy? I think it might be crazy. Oh, sugar. Um. Oh. Jesus. I can't see anything. Oh, I see. When you have... Okay, I don't know how I didn't pick this up earlier, but the the, the darkness here has, like, a, a slowing effect. Okay. It's time. Okay. We have to set a trap for the monster. What? No! I won't let her be killed by that thing. It's the only way, Kay. Kay, sometimes, in order to heal, you need to let go. No! For the first time, I don't feel lonely. I can't lose you. It's not about loss. It's about change. I have to trust myself. Jesus. Okay.
Mm. I'm a little nervous. Going out to find you, huh? No boat. This seems like we are going out there to get eaten. Yeah. No? Okay, that's nice. I'm kind of wondering what the... There were so many times when I thought that the game was trying to not teach a specific thing, but like illustrate specific points. And I think it does, but at the same time, I think there's a greater point that it's trying to illustrate, and I just, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh! Did you find out who can truly help you? Yes. I know now. What the heck? Oh, oh, we got control. I thought we were about to enter a cutscene or something. We don't have the flare anymore. Part of the message is not that only you can help yourself, because I, I don't think that's what they were trying to say, but I think what they were trying to say is that huh. nobody else can really start the process other than you. You know, I'm, and uh, it, I guess what I'm trying to say with that is, you know, don't, don't think, you know, oh, I'm the only one that can help myself, so I shouldn't be trying to get help from somewhere else like you know just someone to talk to a therapist psychologist whatever even if it's just you know it, I don't think they they made this point with the game but I, I'm, I'm going to make it um, which is do not be afraid to try to get help um, because it's so incredibly important you know, there, at least in the United States, and I think in other places too, there's a stigma around getting help for any kind of mental problems. You know, even if it's just like, you know, you need help working something out. Um, and it, it's it's really bad that, that's, that that stigma is a thing, um, at least in my opinion. Because, you know, if, if you never go to get help, how are you ever going to get better? You know? Sure. But I, I guess so. I, I took a short break and I was kind of thinking about 
what I guess the the message that I was thinking of from like the feeling good. Um, oh, what was I trying to say? Okay, well, to go back to a previous point, the idea that needing therapy or to talk to a psychologist or any of that stuff makes you weak is ridiculous. Um, because honestly, like, the, the act of asking someone for help takes more guts than just sitting there and letting it eat at you. Um, but also, I think that one of the points they were trying to make is that everybody has issues. Everybody has, you know, problems. Um, <laughs> wow. I'm just looking at all the, the stuff in the credits. Uh, I guess the... It, what, what I'm... What I think part of what they were trying to say is, and the message that I am kind of taking from it, is um, everybody has their own problems. You really can't judge someone based on their outward appearance as to how things are. Um, and I think this game did a great job of illustrating a lot of the problems that people sometimes have, you know, and I think a lot of these things were fairly common, you know, what they had in the, the things that they were illustrating or expressing in this, in this game, I think, or like the scenarios that they were showing are things that a lot of people end up dealing with throughout the course of their lives. Um, not everybody, mind you, but, you know, I, and I think that everybody could identify with at least some of the things that were happening in this game. Um, myself included, you know, but I don't think anybody from Jomei is going to be watching this, but if you do, um, this game was, it was hard to go through at some points and not because like, you know, the game was ridic ridiculously hard or anything, just... I guess all I really want to say is thank you. This is... I don't know. It just... It, I have trouble putting these things into words, but... Um, it's difficult to find... ways to kind of show and express... your own experiences in a lot of cases, and I think this game does a very good job of that. Um, I don't know if we can... Okay. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try to skip through a lot of this. <laughs> um, the... Just because, like, even if some of the experiences in the game or, like, some of the things in the game don't necessarily resonate with somebody right off the bat doesn't mean they aren't valid. Like, you know, something in here will resonate with everybody, I think. What's this? Ah, are they doing a sequel? Loading. Continue. Oh, ah, okay. I got you. All right, folks. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode and the series. I uh, hope you all did enjoy or appreciate it. And if you did, you know what to do. That is great for me, Notorious BLT. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.